Hi everyone, how are you? I've come on today because I'm participating in a swap at Journal Tag Junkies and we have to alter some puzzle pieces. We have to alter, well we have to alter 10 but 8 of them have to, oh, well, eight of them have to be done and then two have to go on a tag. So I've got ten pieces here. I've got these puzzle pieces. They are about, I don't really know how you measure them. Well, they're about 40 centimetres by 30 centimetres and what's that in inches? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so it's about one and a half inches by an inch. So that's pretty good. What I thought about doing first, I've really got no idea. I've, I have never altered puzzle puzzle pieces before so I went through my little um, stash of papers and I picked out a few and what I thought I'd do first would be just to cover all these pieces puzzle pieces in some of these papers and I thought I'd do it now so I could let them set overnight because it's getting rather late here. And I want to get this done before I pop off to bed. So I'm just going to use my tacky glue. I thought about gessoing them first and then I thought, well, that's going to be a waste of gesso because once I get some background paste pieces of paper on the tie on the puzzle pieces oh my god that is a mouthful <laughs> oh I'm getting tired once I get the paper on there some of them I'm going to gesso anyway so I just thought I'd stick all these down and let you share in my process I'm just using some tacky glue and this one is some kind of I don't know I don't even know what language it is I got it given to me in some happy mail so on it goes just want to make sure that's down And I'll just let them, I'll let them sit overnight. So, um, they are, at least then I know they'll be dry. This is just a piece of old paper bag. going well it's two down okay so I'm not sure how this is going to work this is just a little square of cotton fabric but I'll put it on here and see how it goes I think that'd make a lovely, I just don't know which side it goes on. Well, that might be better. Okay, make sure some of the glue's coming through that, but that's okay. It should dry fine. Okay, I'll leave that one up. It's, 
Okay, okay, okie dokie. I want to use a piece of this. This is an old, a very old story, kids' storybook. And on the front of it, I've glued down a piece of serviette, serviette napkin. So, just trying to think. I might cut a couple of bits of this. Go on, and I'll grab some of the red. Oops, that's ripping me. And that should be big enough. Make sure that gets on there properly. Mm. Oops. Okay, now. Uh, some of this it's like can you see it shimmer cut a piece of that off I'll have glitter everywhere it's already coming off okay Just trying to make sure that I have not getting any air bubbles underneath it, giving it a good press down. Okay, okay next one. Uh, might have to use a couple of strips on that. Just a bit of, um, oh, there the, oh, I might not use that because that, I forgot that they, that it's good, nice textured paper on that side but they're words that side so I won't use that put that back in my top drawer oh I might use a piece of that yep I will come on glue Side, side down. All right. Yeah, what else have I got in here? Oh, that's nice. And a bit of corrugated cardboard. I wonder if that'd stick on there. Yeah, let's try it. There's a bigger piece, that one. After they dry in in the morning, I'll um I'll cut around them with the A good old craft knife. Okay, so that one's done, and I like that too. That's a little, it's got a bit of a 
shine to it. I'm going well, four more pieces left. Now I'm not sure if this is going to stick very well, but I'll try it. It's got words on it. I think, what's it called? Um, oh, I think it's called vellum or something like that. Like a really, I'm not sure if the, how well this is going to stick, but we'll give it a go. confident that this is going to stick really well. See globs of glue underneath it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see in the morning anyway. Okie doke. Now, next one. I've got some little pretty paper here. One more. Mm. Just trying to. I might use this. This is um a bit of handmade paper, and I love the texture on that. So I'll try that one. Come on, glue, don't fail me now. Okay. Right. So that's all my jigsaw pieces, jigsaw pieces covered. But I'm just thinking, and I found a use for my box. I've got all my puzzle pieces in here now. But I'll just get out a couple more in case a couple of those textured materials don't work. Oh, I'll get a funny shape one. And, and that one. Okay. This is just another um, serviette that I've stuck down on some old book page. It's pretty cool, like you can see the wording underneath it. I like it. 
That's good. These puzzle pieces were the ones that I just picked up at one of the op shops around town. And the last, this other spare one, I'll just put a bit of vintage paper, a bit of vintage card, card paper. Mm, pardon me. Okie doke. Rightio, so I wanted to use that on a piece too. Yeah. One more. Just one more. lost them all then. <laughs> I am getting tired, aren't I? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I want another funny shaped one. There we go. Funny shaped one. Jump back in there. So I'm going to rip that. I kind of like. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Okay, that's got that. Alright, so that's all my puzzle pieces. Move these out of the road. So I'm just going to let them dry overnight now. And then I in the morning I can give them wow that's gone all wrinkly. I'll give them a, um, I'll cut them out. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Morning, everyone. I'm, I'm back to do some more on my puzzle pieces. Um, the only one I had trouble with that the the one that I did the corrugated cardboard on it started to lift there so I'm not sure if I just want to I might just glue that back down yeah and do it again and just let it let it dry so when I got up this morning I decided to start cutting the jigsaw puzzles out so I wouldn't really waste video time so I cut most of them out and they turned out pretty good I'll give you a quick look that one That one was the um, hand handmade paper. 
the material one I just did a rough cut because I actually like that so I might try to like pull a bit more of that fiber out so that it looks a bit more shabby and this one that's pretty rustic I just ripped around the edges on that one I like that effect and there's the other ones so they turned out pretty good I'll put that one there because it's got to dry um, I left two just to show you um, my cutting process so I'll do that now I started with the I learned from trial and error I start I, I was just cutting willy-nilly but then a lot of them when I went to cut the inside that little inside part of the puzzle it was starting to like rip and everything so then I realized that if I cut that first and then do the rest I had no problem so that's what I'm going to do now I'm not sure if you can see me my hands and I didn't really want to cut them all on video anyway because <laughs> I'm not the best cutter in the world <laughs> and you, I didn't want you to see me cut myself so I'm doing this pretty carefully and then after I cut those other pieces I gave them a a light sand down with some of I've just got some of this it's it's a waterproof abrasive paper aluminium oxide paper it's pretty fine they actually weren't that hard to cut out once I got the hang of it but like I said this is new to me so it's all just trial and error I'm kind of like out of my comfort zone when it's when I'm doing other crafting things besides paint so that's that's just been cut it's pretty rough that's why I use the um, sandpaper so I'll do this one and I tried moving the puzzle um, as I was cutting but then I realized that was too hard for me too so I am actually better off concentrating and moving the hand with my knife in it okay so that's that one cut out it's not bad so then I just grab a bit of this paper and I'll just go and give it a light sand over it to get any of the the um, extra little bits off and just it just I think it just makes it look a bit tidier. feel of that Ugh. just got to just going to tidy this up here I seem to have an excess of glue on some of them
see that's going to bug me that's a bit of extra bit of glue there there we go okay but you get the idea looks tidier I'll do this one See, that's how I done all of those. Okay, well, I'll be back for the next step because I've got to get rid of all this um, grit from the sandpaper off my table. And I'll start to decorate. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, I'm back. Uh, did I tell you I was going to clean up my table? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, but then I started rummaging for things to alter the puzzle pieces with. So that's why this ended up like this. <laughs> I thought about doing this first one as a fridge magnet. And... I did have my little magnet piece out. I'll just get another one. Oh, there it is. It fell down. Um, I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun, my little hot glue gun to heat up properly. Oh, we're there. Okay. I'm going to put a bit of lace trim on this. It'll be interesting to see how many times I actually burn my fingers. Okay, scissors. I'm just building this flower up. Okay, now, oh, I did want to put some of that on too. I should have put that on before I put the flower on. See, you can tell I'm out of my comfort zone, can't you? This is just a bit of um, eyelash trim. I'll just trim that up a bit. Get a few of the little danglies off it.
in the swap, it said we had to have um, at least one word or something on it. So I might put that little, that just says, it's a little word that says together. So I might pop that on there. Just trying to decide what colour I want for in the. I might have that one actually. Um, what am I looking for? I'll just pop a bit of glue on the bottom of that. Oh, I've got that eyelash trim on there. Might have been better to put it straight onto the flower. Yep. Okay. And I think to finish it off, I need something just down here, which would be. I might get smaller. I'll use one of these. Swap hands. Okay. Glue gets everywhere, doesn't it? Look at those strands. Okie doke. So, I've got that. Get another one. Oh, lost it. Okay, use my fingers. Okay, I need a decent set of tweezers. Oh, okay, now we've got the grippy ones. And that might have gone. Okay, so that's that one so far. I should have inked around the edges. Okay, I still might do that. it. Sorry. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So now with this one, I'm just going to glue one of these magnets on the back. And it'll be done. Just making sure it's heated up. Okay, get the strands off it and off me. Okay, so there's my first one. I'll just trim that up, it's annoying me. 
There's my first one. A little fridge magnet. I'll have to find something that it it will stick to. Inside that, there's a metal strip inside there, so, yep. It sticks. Okay, so that's my first one. Oh, that I'm so excited. <laughs> oh dear, now what fell out of here? One of my blades. This is a little handy thing. The blades stick on the, or when they're in properly, they stick on that little magnetic strip in there for my cutting knives. Okay, so that's the first one. Yay! I'm so, oh, I can't sing that. <laughs> I'll get a caution on YouTube if I start singing songs. Okay. Now, another one. Uh, okay, I'll be back. I've got to get organised. Okay, Jake, I think I'm organised now. Uh, I've got a bit of hessian ribbon here. So, and I've got a couple of, I was given these ages ago in some Happy Mail and I've never used them. Little wooden man and ladies so I thought I might leave them plain and put the jigsaw puzzle on a bit of hessian ribbon and then put the people on there so I'll do that so I'll glue this down here at the back Well, that come out fast. Okay. Right. Just let that dry and get the glue off my fingers. Yeah. So. Where's my jigsaw puzzle? Oh gosh, I've really got to... There it is. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to think, see which way I want the man and lady going. And... Yep, I'll do that. So, I'll just ink up the edges on this. And I'll put a bit of glue on the back of the puzzle. Need another glue stick in there soon. And I'm going to angle that one, I think. Yeah. So that's what that looks like so far. Now I'm going to put the little man on here. I'll just put a glue, another glue stick in the back. And do the lady. Oops, just cut that strand off. 
There they go. Oh, it's gone. Okay. So, I've got this little word friend. It doesn't really need inking. Just I just want to take the bit of white out of it. So I'm going to put that on the bottom of their feet, or do I want it down there? Actually, I've got this little bit of um, hessian trim as well, and I might put that there. Okay, yep, I'm going to do that. I'm putting the... Oh, I've lost my other glue stick. Okay. It's all right. It fell in my drawer. I've got. I keep my drawer open here at the side. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. Put it up. My poor old cutting mat. I use it for everything. It's very old. <laughs> okay, and. Put the friend on top of that. Ow. Okay, that's the first burn. Now, uh, I'll trim that off at the back. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far, but it's a little bit dark, so that's too big. I need a little flower here. I've got some ribbon, I never opened these. Ribbon flowers, or oh, but maybe one of the resin flowers. Now, down the side here, I've got a whole that's my little knick knacky box, I call it. So, and I have the bottom drawer out here down there to sit that box on it when I use it. I like these resin flowers. I don't know whether to put it on. I might put it in the middle there. So, let's see how I go with this. Okay, so there's a little, um, I'll loop that up, I'll put my finger in there, there's a little, another one, but that's my second one, oops, so it'd be like a little hanging altered puzzle piece. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure I like that one, but we'll see. I like the first one. That was pretty good. Okie doke. Now, number three coming up. 